and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a skill which covers National 4 to Advanced Higher. For all levels you need to be able to present experimental data in the form of tables and be able to use tables to extract information. Let's start by looking at extracting information. Here we've been given a table of alkane boiling points. Part A requires us to extract specific information from the table. We need to extract the boiling point of the, car of the alkane with three carbons. The alkanes are written in order from one carbon to eight carbons. The alkane with three carbons is propane. We can see from the table that the boiling point is negative 42 degrees Celsius. For part B, we are trying to explain a trend. For this, we are trying to relate the information on the left hand side of the table to the information on the right hand side of the table. As we progress down the table, we can see that the number of carbons increases. This will be the start of our answer. So as the number of carbons increases, what happens to the boiling point? We can see that the boiling point also increases from negative 162 to 126. The increase in the number of carbons is what is causing the increase in the boiling point, not the other way around. Pause the video now and try and extract the information from the table. So we have different compounds in the table. We have three which contain calcium, three which contain copper, two which contain carbonate, two which contain sulphate and two which contain nitrate. The first part of the question asks us to look for which types of compound are insoluble. We have two compounds which are insoluble in water. The thing which is common between the two is that they both contain carbonate. The second part of the, comp of the question asks us which type of compounds are white. We have three compounds which are white. The part which is common to all three is that they contain calcium. You should also be able to construct tables for given information. Here we are to construct a table to show the bonding in each type of compound. So we have six compounds, magnesium chloride, carbon tetrachloride, sodium oxide, hydrogen sulphide, silicon dioxide and copper fluoride. We have a mixture of compounds which are made up of non-metals and those which are made up of metals and non-metals together. This means that our headings for the types of bonding will be ionic and covalent. We can then put the different compounds into the table. Magnesium chloride is an ionic compound, whereas carbon tetrachloride is covalent. Sodium oxide is ionic and hydrogen sulphide is covalent. Silicon dioxide is also covalent and copper fluoride is ionic. Pause the video now and sort the compounds into two categories. So for these compounds, there are more than one heading that you could choose. The first heading you could choose would be to sort them into alkanes and alkenes. You could also choose to sort them into saturated and unsaturated. Ethene would fall into the alkene or unsaturated column, methane into the alkane or saturated column. Propane is an alkane. Butene is an alkene. 2-methylpentane is an alkane and hex 
three in as an alkene. You should also be able to construct tables for experimental data. When constructing a table of experimental data, your independent variable, or the one which you controlled, should be in the left-hand column, and the dependent variable, the thing which you measured, should be in the right-hand column. We have an aim here, to investigate the effect of temperature on rate of reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. In this experiment, we would be in control of the temperature. It's important that you also include the units where possible. So temperature would have been in degrees C. To have a look at rate, we would have been measuring time, which would likely be measured in seconds. Pause the video now and construct table headings for each of the aims. Remember units. So for this first aim, to investigate the effect of particle size on the rate of reaction between marble chips and acid, we would have control of particle size. There would be no units for particle size. For rate of reaction, we would be measuring time in seconds. For the second aim, to investigate the effect of concentration on a of acid on the rate of reaction with calcium carbonate powder, we are in control of the concentration. Concentration is measured in moles per litre. And for rate, again, we would be measuring time in seconds. And for this final aim, to investigate the unsaturation level of different fats and oils by reaction with bromine water, we would be changing the fat or the oil which is being tested, and we would be testing it with bromine water. To measure the unsaturation level, you would be measuring the volume of bromine water. That would be measured in millilitres. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!